All right guys, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to give you guys an update on the blown turbo that I had a couple weeks back, or I should say a few weeks back. I finally got the unit back from SoCal Porting and I wanted to basically just go through the process of getting this thing installed back onto the car. So first of all, big, big shout out to SoCal Porting for the fantastic job that they did. I'll throw some pictures up here to show you guys the remanufactured turbo that I received from eBay. Long story short, I ended up returning that one and decided to use SoCal Porting services to get my turbo rebuilt. And look at that right there. So they had to replace the compressor wheel and honestly, they cleaned it up to where it looks a lot better than how I shipped it to them. It's a lot cleaner. I'm confident in the services that they performed. So I'm gonna flip it to the hot side and you guys can see that even this right here has been cleaned out and this thing is ready for install so again thank you socal porting if you guys are wondering how long it took to get this thing shipped and repaired i shipped it out on december 12th it made it to the facility their facility on december 16th and i got it back on december 26th so with christmas and stuff like that and the weather delays that was a pretty quick time frame and i wasn't complaining i, I just really appreciated the prompt service that i got and now i'm ready to move forward to the next steps which is getting this thing reinstalled onto the car uh, you guys can see right here that i have this turbo blanket that i wanted to install before reinstalling this thing and then just a whole bunch of new parts that i decided to go ahead and replace gaskets obviously a couple oil lines right here studs nuts right there bunch of washers and just hoses and couplers and everything like that just everything i need to make sure that this thing runs perfectly it's been out of commission for a little while now and i honestly i miss driving it so i'm ready to just go ahead and reinstall everything and if you guys are wondering why i didn't go a bigger turbo or change up my setup i mentioned it several times in my other video which i'll link somewhere here but basically i didn't want to have to get a retune just because of how the car is right now so long story short i didn't want to spend more trying to fix this thing and so i just decided to go stick with the oem turbo and get it running so i don't really want to go too much into detail on the install like i'm not going to show you guys exactly step by step on how to reinstall a turbo just because i'm trying to figure it out for myself and basically if i don't know how to do something completely then i don't feel comfortable showing you guys what to do so with that said i'm just gonna go ahead and breeze through this i don't know if i'll film but I'll, I'll do my best but i will just uh like i said breeze through this and install actually what i'm gonna do first is since the turbo is here i'm gonna go ahead and get this turbo blanket installed this one is the faction fab turbo blanket i got this color just because it holds up the most heat but yeah this is the one that i'm going to use on the stock turbo and big shout out to mojo ninja garage i actually got the idea of installing a turbo blanket from that guy so go ahead and check his channel out thank you man and i almost forgot to mention i got the intercooler right here in this bin with some brake clean and the reason is because I want to clean that out and I guess I, re I did reach out to Process West um, you can use brake clean to spray the fins of the intercooler and then rinse it off with water so that is what I'm gonna do so now that I kind of explained everything that I'm gonna go through I expect this to take a few days at minimum to get everything put back together I just don't want to rush anything and I, I want to make sure that I do a good job and so that said I'm gonna start with this turbo blanket and again I'm using Mojo Ninja Garage's video on this again thank you man okay so I pretty much have the turbo ready I replaced these oil lines right here including this long one right there and then I got the turbo blanket installed and pretty much it is ready for the headers so I'm gonna throw the headers onto here and then we'll move on to the next step all right so I pretty much got the entire turbo and header assembly put back together it was actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be all I had to do was basically remember where I took everything off so i took a bunch of photos and basically did my best to document the entire process so that i don't forget where each and every nut and bolt goes so got it put back together and now we are basically ready to throw it back onto the car so i'm just triple checking every single thing making sure that i have everything on here before 
I throw it back onto the car just because I don't want to do this again. It was a lot of work, uh, mainly because it was a learn as you go process. I had to research and basically look up every single step on how to do this since I've never removed a turbo before, but so far so good. Like I said, I just got to remember all the lines and everything and then I'll be ready to reinstall this back onto the car. So I think I'm going to do that uh, right now actually after I get everything double checked. Then the last thing will be to clean that intercooler right there so yeah i'll keep you guys posted all right guys so it's actually a couple days later um it is the first of january happy new year to everybody i finished installing everything on the car it's basically ready to start but before that i'm gonna need to prime the system by cranking it and hoping that it doesn't start i guess you could do the clutch plus gas and then ignition and it should flood the system because we want oil running to the turbo down there so like i said i completed everything uh i mean to the best of my abilities i just put everything back together as cleanly as i could do it and it seems pretty fine so i'm gonna like i said prime the system but i didn't film the majority of that because i wanted to focus on really just doing this right yeah this is where we're at you see this right here this is a coolant bleeder kit and since we took out the turbo we introduced air into the coolant system and so we have to get those air bubbles out and we're going to do that by using this kit right here so i'm a little anxious right now but i think all we have to do left is just crank the car uh, like i said hopefully it doesn't start do that for a little while and then drop the car and then yeah we'll go for a drive and again big shout out to socal porting for rebuilding my turbo uh, i'm following their break-in procedure and everything like that oh and i did forget to mention if you've worked with new couplers before like this one right here then you know how difficult it is to install pipes and stuff like that just because they don't stretch as much as the old ones and so that's why it took me a little longer i'm going to set the camera down and then yeah try to crank the system Okay, this is the first startup. Uh, I primed the system about four times and man, a little nervous, but here goes nothing. Ooh. Right. Oh, here it goes. I'm gonna go inspect stuff, but yeah, it started. I'm just gonna go, uh, nerve-wracking man all right well I mean she started so that's a good thing just gonna check for leaks I'm praying to God there's no leaks I mean I tightened everything within spec and it should be good I'm gonna wait here 15 minutes and then we're gonna burp the coolant system while we're at it so in about five minutes or so there should be bubbles that are coming out and then after it stops that's when you know that the bleeding procedure is done oh man yeah this thing's been out of commission for over a month now so i'm really excited to get it working all right it's been about 15 minutes um there was a little smoke coming from the turbo over there, but I think that's just from the new heat wrap that I installed. And I think that's pretty normal while that wrap breaks in. But yeah, so far, no leaks or anything. And it's still idling pretty normally, so that's a good sign. And I'm getting ready to just uh, drop the car here, but I'm waiting for any last minute bubbles to pop up here before doing so. All right, there's a couple of questionable coolant spots, but I think it was just from the bubbles blowing out and then spilling down there. Yeah, it's in between the fans, so it's coming from, had to have come from here and then just most likely made its way down there. But no big deal so far, everything is good. I gave it a couple revs, finish off the burping process, bleeding process, whatever you wanna call it. And now I'm gonna get ready to drop the car and then drive it for a little bit. All right, 
right, car has been cooled off. I'm gonna drive it for a little bit. I actually need to run to the store. So according to SoCal Porting's instructions, I need to drive it lightly, avoid hitting boosts as much as possible for around 100 or 200 miles. So I will follow that to the T just so this new rebuilt turbo will be broken in properly. I guess I'm just a little glad and humbled by this whole entire process. I'll go into depth in a different video. I wanna show you guys exactly how much I spent on this entire thing. I did everything myself, and so I'm sure a lot of you guys would wanna know how much money was put into it. All right, so just start the car. Starts just fine. I'm gonna go for a quick drive. This is the first drive after the rebuild. Yeah, not much to see here. I'm just gonna be listening for any sounds and you know, if I feel anything, then I'll make sure to look into it. But yeah, for now, I, I ran the car earlier for about 40 minutes and it did fine. So I think it'll be all right. And yeah, I don't wanna see if this thing will hit full boost until it's been completely broken in. So we're gonna hold off on doing any of that for now. Yeah, like I said, it's been over a month since I've driven this thing, and in that one month or so, I forgot all the road noises. You know, I've been driving the Outback and the wife's Corolla, so <laughs> it's a nice change, I guess. Man, I really miss driving this thing. I'll tell you that. Oh, man. Oh. All right guys, so I just got back home. I drove it for a few miles, did a couple errands, and so far it is running fine. It is still running a little lean, but I think it's because I didn't reset the ECU, so I'm gonna let it learn on its own instead of forcing it. Yeah, so far it felt good. I was reminded during my drive why I wanted to keep this car. It's just a lot of fun to drive, and I'm glad that I was able to fix it. One thing I did notice during the drive was there's a little bit of rattling under I think it might be heat shield or something but I'm pretty sure I tightened all of that so I don't know what else it could be but that's the small stuff the main thing is that the turbo is in and that it is functioning properly so in these next hundred or so miles I'm gonna drive this thing carefully and just inspect it and then hopefully go out and enjoy it again like I used to but yeah so far so good it's been a long journey if you guys are watching this video for the first time if you're new to the channel this is the 2018 WRX that started the channel and uh, recently I acquired this Outback Wilderness and yeah I'm just building between the two that's that's about it I'm just ready to move forward from this and I'm ready to just keep building on the car and just hoping that it runs perfectly for as long as possible so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog if you made it this far through the video thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll catch you guys in the next one